All right, everybody, welcome to the charity stream. Uh, if you are new, hopefully we'll have some new folks trickling in over the course of the day to say hello. Uh, my name is Moon Blaze Wolf. You can call me Blaze. Uh, I am a Final Fantasy IV free enterprise runner. Uh, free Enterprise, if you're not familiar with it, is the randomized version of the old SNES classic, Final Fantasy IV, uh, which was the first Final Fantasy game uh, released on the Super Nintendo in the United States. So this is a game that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, I played it growing up. It was probably the first RPG, story-driven RPG I ever played uh, in my life. Uh, and now I'm playing this randomizer version. It is absolutely fantastic, and I'm really looking forward to sharing with you uh, some of the fun stuff today uh, that we have in store. So uh, just a couple notes on how the day is going to work, because uh, this is my first ever charity stream, so I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing, but uh, everybody is more than... Welcome to help me along the way. I'll probably need a little bit of help here and there to make it through. Uh, but basically, uh, I'm gonna be running uh, all six individual formats in the upcoming event uh, that the Free Enterprise community has planned beginning in mid-February. Uh, that's called the World Series of Free Enterprise. Uh, so there's six different events. Uh, I have them listed on the uh, info page down here, so uh, you can see them there. Uh, Got to refresh my page really quick here on my laptop. Uh, the six different formats are uh, the giant percent, which I'm going to be doing first today. Uh, then there's a league forge the crystal event, a reject percent, which is where you basically get the five worst characters in the game, and you have to defeat. Uh, defeats Aromas. Uh, there's an apple seed race, which is kind of like the speed demon version of the game. So that one you'll see later today. Uh, Got to go really, really fast for that one. And that's um, that's pretty, pretty wild to see if you've never seen it before. Uh, that one will not take very long. Uh, and then on the flip side, there's what's called the Catalyte. Uh, Cata is the catastrophe version. And uh, that, those are basically intended to be the hardest seeds that the game can generate while still being defeated in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, so there's the regular kata, which if you tuned in on Sunday, I did one of those for an event. It took me about four and a half hours. This one should not be that bad because um, it's called what's called a kata light seed. So I'll, be, I'll get a little bit of help along the way um, to make it hopefully not as painful, but we'll see. Uh, you never know. So. Uh, so there's that one, that's the fifth one, and then the last one, which I actually did do last night because I wanted to see what it was, what it felt like, uh, and that's Edward Percent. Uh, and that is where all of your uh, characters are Edward. Uh, you'll only find Edwards throughout the entire game, and uh, if you know anything about the game, Edward is, has a few, um, he's notorious for a few things. Um, first of all, he is I think it's safe to say the worst character in the game in terms of stats and abilities, uh, pretty much by default all the way along. And then um, in addition to that, uh, he is known for being the Spoonie Bard. So he uh, uh, he is, that is his meme to fame, I guess. So I did one of those last night. I did actually get the spoon. Uh, one of the things that they put in uh, to this particular uh, race category is the spoon flag, uh, which is where Edward can equip the spoon. It's actually a pretty hefty weapon, um, but it's not guaranteed in the flag set. So uh, that was maybe a little bit lucky, uh, but it really wasn't, wasn't bad. It was pretty fun, and uh, so I'll be doing that one as well. So those are the six formats that we'll be doing today. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be starting off with Giant Percent, which is, uh, I didn't really explain that one. Uh, that is a bit more of a traditional uh, version of the game. However, uh, you have to um, you have to uh, defeat the bosses in the Giant of Babel to beat the game instead of Zeromus. So we're going to go ahead and get that one out of the way first. Uh, kind of warm up a little bit on some of the bosses and things like that, and then uh, we'll be on to the rest of the races after that. So 
Uh, I've got a couple donation incentives just I uh, want everybody to be aware of. Uh, they are listed under the charity stream section on, on the dashboard here. Um, for the I am streaming for Furs for Life today, so that is our extra life group uh, that I'm a part of. Uh, at this time, because it's January 1st, uh, just so everyone's aware, I'm trying to be as transparent about this as I possibly can. Uh, I was not aware of this when I scheduled the stream, but basically on New Year's uh, Day of 2019, Extra Life basically uh, folds up shop for the uh, 2018 year, and then they start everything over again for 2019. So uh, I reached out to the administrators of the group, but uh, obviously everyone was probably partying and doing more important things on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Uh, than setting up our Extra Life team, which is totally understandable. So as of right now, uh, that link is not available to directly donate to First for Life. So uh, instead, what I've put in there um, is a link to my direct donation page. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is all donations that we get today, I'm going to go ahead and forward to uh, the group once it's set up, uh, hopefully in the next few days. but. It might take a little bit longer. I don't know a ton about um, what goes into the group setup, but um, or the team setup. But uh, I'm going to be very transparent with everything. So you should see all the donations on the screen. Um, if you cheer with bits, I will donate those as well today. Uh, so all of those donations will make their way to Extra Life. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter, uh, I will be very transparent about that on there as well. Uh, so that's what we're playing for today. Uh, we're playing for Extra Life. Uh, I've got some uh, incentives that I posted for today. So uh, the first uh, donations of $5 or more. Um, there are basically two runs where it's very easy to name the characters because you know which characters you're going to get. Um, those are the reject percent runs where I know that my only five characters are going to be Rydia, Tella, Edward, Porum, and um, Sid. So if you want to name the character for either of those five, uh, you can donate $5. And then for the Edward percent run, if you want to donate the, um, the base name of all the Edwards, because we'll do silly names based off of that. Um, but if you, wanna, if you wanna choose the base name for um, the Edwards and the Edward percent run, uh, you can donate $5 for that as well. Uh, and then the other incentive that I have set up, since we do have six different uh, flag sets that we're gonna race today, uh, if you want to donate $10 uh, during a race, you can choose the next uh, flag set that I run. So uh, I'll try to call those out so that um, everybody's aware. If for some reason we do get a couple of those, uh, we'll kind of queue them up. So I'll do my best to stay on top of that. Please keep me honest, you know, as we're going through the day today. So, um, so that's the other incentive uh, for names and what uh, race I do next. So if there's one that you really want to see, you only got a particular um, amount of time that you can tune in for today, that's a great way to make sure that you uh, see the one that uh, you really want to see. Uh, I'm also going to match the first $25 in donations, so I'm going to go ahead and put up some of my money as well there. And um, the last thing is I'm going to go ahead and give some subs today. So if you uh, follow, if you watch through to the end of the race, whenever I beat the final boss um, for the giant percent run, that's going to be uh, whatever the boss is at the top of the Giant of Babel. And then for the other five races, it's going to be Zeromus. Um, but all I'm asking for is a lot of love and support along the way today. So just go ahead and cheer uh, when I get that boss kill. And uh, I'll go ahead and draw somebody out of the, the cheers there to uh, gift a random uh, gift a tier one sub too. So, so I'm trying to put up some some stuff for charity and for all of you for supporting. Uh, please spread the word today as this is going along because this is going to be a long day for me, even though it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm really excited to kick off 2019 like this. Uh, but you know, I wanna I wanna um, do a lot this year uh, with streaming and with free enterprise and just kind of uh, giving a lot, giving something back, um, and making making this an amazing year. Uh, with, uh, with Twitch and uh, with these communities and these great causes. So we're gonna go ahead and kick the, kick the year off on the right foot today uh, with a fun charity stream. Um, hopefully all the runs go smoothly and uh, get a lot of help and support along the way. So I appreciate everybody that's here and I'm sure more people will be coming and going throughout the course of the day. 
Uh, please feel free to use the commands chat uh, or commands in the chat if you want to see um, some of the custom commands that I have available for you to use today, uh, as well as a donation link and information about the game uh, and the seed that I'm running. I'll keep that updated throughout the course of the day today. And then um, beyond that, yeah, just spread the word. Let's have fun. Let's get 2019 off on the right foot. And I think I'm ready to go ahead and get started with this giant percent run here. So. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick second to look at the flag details. I don't want to forget anything, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. This one has no Japanese content, so no J items or spells or abilities. It is K1 with the pass in a shop, although I don't need the pass, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, C1, uh, or C2, I should say, random characters, uh, and then I can get duplicates, so we'll see if I run into any duplicates over the course of the day today. Uh, T4, so really good loot and chests. Uh, shops are only selling cabins, so that's a little bit of a downside. Hey, Rostin, good morning. Uh, I'm doing good right now. I'm going to be playing this game all day today, so it should be, should be a fun one. I'm just uh, reviewing the flag set for this first race, and then we're going to be off. Uh, B1, randomized bosses. Uh, Fusoya is going to get powered up through boss kills. And uh, we do get free lunch, so that's good. Uh, all experience bonuses are in play. We've got some glitches, potentially, although um, no shops, so or no nothing in shops other than cabins. So I don't really need to worry too much about... Um, money but uh maybe item duping um and the warp glitch will come into play and then we got the spoon flag and you'll see the fab flag here uh, as well as some of the other fun flags along the way so all right i think we're pretty much ready to go here and we're gonna go ahead and count it down to this first race in five let me get Kane loaded up here five four three two one and we're off thank you i'm glad you like the background i've really been uh trying to get my stream updated and um, happy with how i like it and we're making some good progress so okay so we got ridia and the sand ruby here so a lot of free characters to check that'll be nice So first part of this run, uh, I think you're going to see lots of looting and lots of free characters, uh, key item checks and things like that. Basically I just need the, uh, the darkness crystal and then I will be good to go. Uh, I'll, I'll need some levels obviously as well, but really once I have the darkness crystal you're going to see me roll right into, um, roll right in. So my camera keeps going out of focus. Okay, I don't know what that would be. Keep me posted on that if you see that. So there is Tella and Octomom. Power Robe is a very good item for Kane, so we're gonna see if we get anything better than that, but that's a good thing to drop on him right away. A little bit of an upgrade there with the wind spear. Whoops. I'm not going for super fast times today. Um, I have actually not played any of these formats other than the Edward percent, which I did exactly one of last night. So um, definitely want to show things off a little bit. Definitely want everybody to kind of see. Uh, see what these formats are. Uh, if you have any questions about the World Series uh, or anything else as we're going along today, uh, go ahead and call those questions out because, you know, uh, that's part of the fun of all of this. And we'll try to kind of get, drop some knowledge on you about, you know, what's going on here. So, <laughs> yes. There, there are a lot of questions about the World Series. Let's just be honest there. Um, 
my first question that I uh, I shared in the Discord last night, which I, I understand, um, you know, there's reasons for things, but I'm a little disappointed that their spoon is not guaranteed in the Edward percent round. Um, but that's okay. We will we'll figure that out later. So I got Yang here. <laughs> well, I know you're gonna you all put a lot of work and effort into um, the World Series formats and everything, Demarine. So, um, like I said, I'm not trying to harsh on anybody, and that's not any part of my plan whatsoever. But uh, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm mostly excited for it. So we'll just kind of keep it positive and focused on that. And might be a little bit of nitpicking here and there, but I'm sure everybody's gonna find something that they dislike about. Um, or not dislike, but like their their preference, you know, might be to have something one way or another, but that's just not always how these things kind of work. So I, I know everybody's, there's a nice balance between um, uh, maybe competitive, oh man, this is like terrible. Okay, yuck. Uh, yes, I am going to 2v2 with Simbu again. Uh, we're gonna reunite the mighty quacks for the uh, for the World Series, so very excited about that. All right, um, now that I got some characters here, uh, I am going to go to Troya, grab my free key item since we got free lunch. Morning, Doctor. Hope your 2019 is off to a good start. If you're here with me, uh, I don't even... I think in the U.S. the latest it would be for anybody is about 11.30 in the morning right now. So if you're here with me, it must not have been too rough of a night. But that's part of why we're going to do this all day. Oh, there's the crystal, which is worthless in V2. But that's funny. Yeah, um, I had a pretty chill night, honestly. Um, I wanted to kind of get ready for, for this today. And, you know, I didn't get the greatest night's rest, but hopefully good enough to get through. God, this is probably gonna take about 10 to 12 hours to do all these races today, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun, so I'm excited. Um, and I hope everybody else's 2019 gets off to a good start today, no matter what you're doing. Uh, a lot of people in the U.S. work on New Year's Eve. Uh, I actually took the day off just to kind of make a long weekend out of it, but I know there's um, there's plenty of people who worked worked on New Year's Eve. So I'm really not happy with this party right now, but we're just going to kind of go with it. I'm sure it, it can only get better from here. Two life staffs. Ooh, and a Zeus gauntlet. Okay. So I think between Yang is going to be good. Uh, Kane is going to be doing some work here early on. Uh, beyond that, I'm not. I don't have particularly high expectations for this team, but we'll make it work. Yeah, a lot of places definitely close early on New Year's Eve, um, but most service type stuff was already open this morning. So, like I went to Starbucks already this morning um, to get some coffee beforehand, and actually our gym was open as well. So um, I guess they're they're all ready for those New Year's resolution uh, people. Oh, and a second Zeus gauntlet. Okay. This is gonna be just fine. Uh, is my background from a game? No, um, although I love this background because uh, it reminds me of Night in the Woods. So uh, that's sort of where it seems like uh, maybe there's a little bit of inspiration there, I'm not totally sure. 
But um, no, this is actually just a generic photo background that I got for a convention party that I did last year. And um, it's tidying me over nicely uh, for now. And then um, I actually have a green screen on order. It should be should be here by the end of the week. So uh, I'm gonna do some, some uh, green screen stuff as well once that arrives. And hopefully everybody will enjoy that. All right, time to get the squad equipped here. Oh wow, she can use a life staff. That's actually kind of cool. I guess I'm not surprised. Um, I think the best thing I had was that wind sphere. Yep. Or no, is fire better? I can't remember. I don't normally use stuff like this. Yeah. Flame, fire, dragon, power, Zeus gauntlet. I guess that's better than nothing. And Zeus gauntlet. Let's give Edward the meat knife here. And. All right, I think we're ready for battle. Yeah, I'm sure it's child ready only because of the uh, the white magic. I would not necessarily have expected that, but that definitely appears to be the case. So, whoa, that is a funky Dark Knight Cecil. I've never seen that one before. going to be a pretty pain, painless one, I think. some things um i am not a dragon ball z fan um i i just was never particularly into it uh, i have nothing against it just never really saw a whole lot of it um she has such little health because she is very she is a child and she joins your party at level one uh, but she does grow up pretty fast Yeah, exactly. Alright, um, we are going to... Whoops. Well, I wanted to do this anyway. Uh, Rydia gains a random summon uh, from this spot now, so I'm actually kind of curious what she's going to learn here. Uh, it can't be Leviathan or Bahamut, but she learns Fire 1 and she learns a random summon, I believe. Oh, maybe not. Is the Rydia flag not on? I guess I just assumed it was. Uh, I'll hit that one later. You can tell the numbers on my counter are too uh, large. They're gonna quickly overtake the giant percent uh, timer here in a minute, so I might just leave it for this run, but I'll fix it later. Oh, yes, I would like Fusoya. And I think Edward, you're getting the boot. Although I think I wanted that you now, but that's okay.
Who is good? Good morning, Tarmid. Just getting underway here. First run of the day. First of six. Just found Fusoya, so life is good. Should probably fill out the rest of my party here. Dark Knight Cecil and Fusoya. Okay. Does he know exit? I didn't think so. Nope. Everything today shall be fab. Fab is the new Z flag. Uh, you have to play with the fab flag. I do have a flags command set up if you are curious what the flags are. So feel free to utilize that accordingly over the course of the day today. And let's get you that other life staff. I could do the silly names for the non uh, I have some donation incentives for a few of the runs, but um, I think I should probably turn on the silly names for the other ones. That seems like a good idea. I always forget something. As of right now, just so everybody knows, uh, the next race I am going, or the next run I'm going to do, assuming. We don't get a overrule from a donation incentive is I'm gonna do the Forge the Crystal uh, race next. But uh, if you want to see something different, uh, you can donate $10 and tell me what to do next. And that money will all go to Extra Life. Ooh, there's exit. Uh, I hope my eyes aren't too strained. I might be kind of a little bit tired still this morning, but I'm trying to not show it. Okay, Earth Crystal. Ooh, and a white robe. The T4 is real today. Ooh, and there's an Avenger. Okay. The Avenger is the bomb. This would probably be a good moment to go ahead and sell some stuff, so we just head in here and dump some things. get a few more cabins just for good measure uh yes the loot is all randomized uh, it doesn't have to be that way but all of the flag sets i'll be running today uh the loot is going to be randomized to varying degrees so uh the one i'm doing right now is uh it's what's called a t4 which means that there's basically no restrictions on the loot i can get so i can get anything uh, in the game, basically. 
Um, setting a record in a randomizer is a little bit of a weird, ambiguous thing, just because um, every every seed's different. Uh, there's no way to guarantee you're getting, you know, basically the optimal seed. So, but yeah, you, there's some ones where you can get some pretty ridiculous times if you know what you're doing, for sure. What do I do? Well, he's going to be dead before I even cast a spell, so I'm just going to let Kane take care of this with the Avenger. Nutella. I think I just got Quake, so that's good. Baron Key. So I got some good options here. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to Troya. And I'm going to go ahead and loot that because I have the Earth Crystal. And then I'll go ahead and do the Tower of Zot. Uh, when I'm done with that, it's going to dump me back out. Uh, right at Baron Castle anyway, so I'll just come back and do Baron Castle then. Oops, Troy is down here. Yeah, right? That was a that was a not random Baron key. That is normally where you get it, so This is actually the only game I've ever speed ran. Um, and I like the randomizer version because of the, kind of like the puzzle solving and the fact that every every seed is a little bit different and there's a lot of variety. Um, I don't necessarily, it's not to say that traditional speed running isn't for me. There's definitely a couple games that I would try to learn, um, but I just really, really enjoy uh, the randomizers. Ooh, Cat Claw. Oops, I did not need that. Probably don't need a third life staff, but that's fine. Yeah, there's just a lot of, um, what was I doing? Oh, Cat Claw. There's kind of just a lot of pressure in traditional speedrunning. Um, it's it's very it's like performance, um, and it's really really hard just to nail the performance perfectly every single time. So I have a lot of respect for people that can do it. Um, I like the randomizer just because you get to make decisions along the way. It's not just like you're kind of following a scripted path and executing that scripted path, but um, everybody's a little bit different. This is what I like, and I know that there's people who really like traditional speedruns. I'm sure I will find a game at some point that I want to do a traditional speedrun for, and then, you know, it'll be nice to have both uh, in, the, in the arsenal, so. Baby Cecil. Alright. 
that takes care of that. I love Mega Man speedruns. Those are some of my favorite. Um, just to watch, uh, Mega Man and the Mario Mario games are just amazing to watch speedruns of. I don't have the dexterity and um, other. Ooh, how do I feel about two Fusoyas? I think I would like two Fusoyas. who we got up here as well uh that is palum or no porum i believe yeah that is Porum. oh no it was palum okay well i think i don't need palum but um i do need a second fusoya for sure We're gonna keep Cecil around, but I don't really. I would dump him for Edge at this point, but that's pretty much it. I think. So this this party is quite good. That's gonna be easy. I assume they have the same spell list too. See what we get. That's a hook. That might be my underground access. But uh, we'll still try the rest of the overworld spots, uh, starting with the Baron Key here. Anybody have any good New Year's Eve stories? Uh, I unfortunately can't say that I do, but uh, I'm sure I've seen plenty on Twitter already this morning. Ooh, IKEA furniture building party. That sounds, uh, that sounds like that would require some alcohol. Ooh, yeah, I can see that. Um, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Oh, that's right, Kane has the Avenger. That's gonna be fun. I do know a wall. Oh, 
Well, that could have been worse. Nice, that's gonna be fun. Hope you have a great time. Well, didn't matter. Yeah, I'm super excited for the free enterprise race as well. Uh, if you're not aware, on Friday, Friday afternoon, early evening, they're gonna be doing a four person race of uh, this randomizer. So that's gonna be amazing. I'm super excited for that. Uh, Quake would not, wait. Yeah, Quake does hit that. So yeah, Quake would have been the better choice there, for sure. Basically, you can never go wrong with Quake. Demarine, what are you nervous about? I'm excited. I'm sure everyone's going to do great. I'm also really curious to see who's on the couch and all that stuff if they do a couch, so... Oh, you're tracking? Cool. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna all have a great time. More Tellas. I don't want more Tellas. We're gonna save the Tellas for the reject race. I'm mostly just excited to hang out in like the Discord and Twitch chat during the run and just kind of revel in everybody else enjoying the game, because I'm sure they will. And I think that's going to be really cool. And I know everyone's going to pull it off and just do a great job, so it's, it's all positive in my mind. Let's see what we get here. Pink tail. Okay, well... I do have the hook, so I guess I can go get an adamant armor. Um, and I need to probably go underground at some point here. I guess now would be a good time to do that. I really don't want to do ordeals still. At least not yet. Hating on ordeals. I'm hating on Mount Ordeals. Oh, it's Bay. Okay. Um, sure. I will take Rosa over Cecil with this party. quick uh, adamant armor here and then I'm on my way to Evelyn Cave. And if it's on ordeals, it's on ordeals and I will just deal with it. Yeah, that'll be really cool too. Um, there's just so many awesome people in the, the community. I'm sure that'll just be a really fun experience. Uh, I'm planning on going to SGDQ. Uh, I don't imagine Free Enterprise will get run there, but it'll still be cool to uh, meet whoever happens to make it, so that'll be a lot of fun. Oh, that's right, I do have three life staffs. I forgot. <laughs> oh, actually, I've got a white girl. Hold on.
Okay. We good. Uh, SGDQ is... Well, they haven't released the details, so not 100% sure. But um, it's traditionally in Minneapolis, and it's either the week before or the week after uh, the 4th of July. So somewhere in that um, end of June, early July time frame. Yeah, I really wanted to go to RPG Limit Break 2, but I just, I don't see it happening. Um, just because I've actually got travel planned for all three other weeks in May, uh, other than RPG Limit Break. So the idea of being gone for four weeks straight just seems like a really, really bad idea. So, good uh, morning, Bucknut. Hope your 2019 is off to a good start. We got another Palum, more Quake Kids for me to dump. I mean, if I was that kind of person, like if I was that um, kind of jet setter type, I would totally do it anyway. But uh, I just, I just can't do four weeks in a row. I don't think um, that's just a little bit too much. Uh, no, I'm not going to FC. Uh, I'm going to... Um, I've got four cons planned for 2019. Uh, I'm going to go to Nordic FuzzCon in February, March, which is in Sweden. Uh, really, really looking forward to that. I've never been to Sweden before. Uh, and then BLFC, Denver, and MFF. So this should get us our underground access here uh, and let us keep hunting for the darkness crystal. I feel like at this point, as soon as I find... Oh, gosh, it's the gauntlet. Um, I was going to say, I feel like at this point, as soon as I find the darkness crystal, I should basically just be able to go ahead and uh, beat the game. So we'll see. Or beat this seed. I'm in pretty good shape right now. Although these guys are hitting hard. Yikes. Forgot how fast this spot is. This might be kind of rough. Huh. I'm currently in Fargo, where it is uh, 15 below outside, so I'm going to be totally fine with whatever Sweden throws at me. Yeah, if the Darkness Crystal's at Ordeals, I'm just going to have to suffer with the consequences of that. I'm just, uh, I like the odds of it being in the Underworld a little bit better at this point. Well, I cannot believe how fast these guys are. This is nuts. Like, I'm going to get through, but... It's going to be all that one Fusoya, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's pretty pretty ridiculous outside right now. I did go out to get coffee and go to the gym this morning, and uh, it was... It hurt to breathe. I'm, I'm just going to say it just like it is. It, it really absolutely hurt to breathe, so... Um, okay. What else do I have here? I don't want... I can't quake this guy. We'll do that. I mean, have you had Starbucks before? It's amazing. Hello.
No, the motive to be to be honest, the motivation was actually just to go to the gym, uh, and then after that, then it was um, let's get Starbucks on the way back since I'm already outside and freezing my butt off. So, so that's kind of how that worked out. Alright, so that was the gauntlet. That was really irritating. Oop, kind of spazzed there for a second. That was my emulator. And then that's Odin, so... We'll see how that goes. Uh, Odin at this spot can be kind of tough, but I think with Fu I should be okay. But I'm going to go safety save just to be on the safe side. Um, and I may also want to... do that. Yeah, we also got, um... So, since Christmas, we've gotten... Two, two really cold days like this. It was about minus 10 yesterday and then minus 15 today. And then uh, we got 16 inches of snow as well. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough couple of days. See how this goes. I wasn't really paying too much attention at the start of the fight. His sword's already up. Yikes. Before Rose even gets a turn, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and zap him into oblivion here. Or maybe he'll miss, um... Maybe he'll miss my adamant foo. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, that wasn't that bad. The Foo's got this. The Foo crew. stuff again. There's been a few goofy things, I would say. Um, I don't think it can miss. I feel like I've seen it miss before, but I don't know for sure. Um, but that was definitely underwhelming. So, I'm not going to complain. Whoops. Oh, I know my controller's spazzing out again. And that is the last of my coffee. Rip. Uh, I will revive them uh, after after I get through here, but um, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, they don't get XP, um, but I'll be able to raise them up with a cabin before my next fight, so. I was basically only missing the XP of that one fight, so it just wasn't really worth it um, to to raise them uh, when I really felt a lot more pressure to kill Odin instead.
Alright, so now I'm in the land of summon monsters. So poison claws. Pretty good. Yep. Although I have so many cabins. Ooh, there's the tower key. So, not the darkness crystal, but it gives me more spots to check. I need to just get out of here, so. Whoops. Out of here is this way. Because I'm not going to be fighting a Shur or Leviathan uh, in this flag set, so. Wow, my controller is really acting up. Grab a little more treasure and then get out of here. Boy, hope my controller settles down. Whoops. Cabin first. Um, they won't typically die that much. It's mostly annoying that they died. But uh, it'll be okay. Uh, I won't be able to grind in the underworld um, with this flag set because there's no J items. But what I will do if I need to grind levels is I will do what's called the D machine fight uh, before I finish up the the tower. But I have a feeling with the adamant Fusoya, I won't really need to uh, do any grinding. I should just be able to beat the game once I. Um, once I get the Darkness Crystal, unless it's uh, a really, really powerful boss in one of those two spots. Yeah, this is the only flag set I'm doing today that doesn't have J items, Japanese items. So um, when, when we do some of the other ones, you'll see me, um, you'll see me do some different grinds over the course of the day today. Uh, the kind of universal one that you usually can do, unless the flag set involves no encounters, is what I'm going to do if I need to grind in this flag set, and I still might do anyway, um, and that's the D-Machine grind, um, where you basically uh, make a particular monster, summon dragon machines over and over again, and you basically farm them. Uh, there's an item, a Japanese item, called the Siren, that is basically how you grind if you have the Japanese items on and you find sirens later. Oh boy. So we got Golbez here. Just gonna have to give him a minute to do his thing and then um, this shouldn't be too bad unless he somehow kills both Fusoyas. Um, the D-Machine grind is... You definitely need to kind of take the time to learn it but it's not that bad uh, once you do. Uh, I don't know. Um, I also just realized glitches are on for this run, so I should go do Dwarf Castle after this because I'll get um, two key items there as well. I was holding off on doing the pan uh, in case I find, or I was holding off on doing Sylph Cave in case I find the pan. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do wall. Whoops, and then I cast Wall on the wrong character. Okay, now I will not lose. Goldas also has extremely weak magic at this spot. Uh, let's go for the swag kill. Assuming Kane doesn't beat him to death with the Avenger first. Have some rocks, Golbez. That actually, yeah, I was going to say that probably won't kill him. Uh-oh. That's a little awkward. There. Okay, he's dead. Okay, that was nothing. 
Still searching for that darkness crystal. I like to think playing video games uh, gives me immunity to getting old, but who knows? That's my secret. So I'll do the tower key. We'll see who this lunar boss is. Pogo Pogo. I still don't have virus. Okay. So everybody's gonna eat some eat some damage here. But the nice thing is everybody will survive this fight. Hey, Farrick. Good morning. Okay, I got Virus and Duke now. Really just need that Darkness Crystal. Anytime game. Yeah, double Fusoya. One of them's got Adamant Armor. Yeah, this, this will be fine. So we're running out here. We're just still looking for that darkness crystal. I got a bunch of easy spots to check left. Um, I might go double back and do ordeals if I go up to Fabul, just because that's just kind of how these things work. If you skip ordeals, that's going to be where the darkness crystal is. So, so we'll see. Got a few more that I can do first. What do you got for me, boys? Luka Key, which I actually don't need because I'm about to go warp into uh, the basement of uh, the sealed cave, Crystal Room. So, so that was kind of worthless. Um, all right, we're wait, we're not all healed. We do a cabin. Do have my ten key items now, so I'll get double experience for the rest of the run here. But I would like to end this as soon as possible, because I have the goods, I just need the item. And that is Water Hag, so that'll be fine. Time to bonk water hag a few times and for the win. Believe in yourself and be strong, everyone. Anna said so. That is a lot of XP. That'll get everybody caught up here pretty much. Got full powered foos. And now let's see who the other boss is. Actually, I shouldn't know already from Zod. It's the door. Yeah, or Demon Wall. They changed it so um, when you uh, do the Zot 
the boss in the Tower of Zot now, it corresponds to the boss that you find at the spot, so. And this will kill him. More XP. Love that Blue Rosa outfit, looks fantastic. So, let's see here. Hopefully we'll get the Darkness Crystal soon. Got two more shots at it here. So here's the warp glitch. Uh, after that fight, if you cast the warp spell, it actually puts you in the Luka Cave um, crystal room. There's my darkness crystal, so now I can go finish the seed. And then it's like, oh, oops, you're actually in Dwarf Castle. So that's how that works if you've never seen that before. And the pan, which I'm not too worried about anymore. So, okay, so Darkness Crystal go. Let's go finish the game. For some reason I can't finish the game, we'll go ahead and do the D-Machine grind up there until we can. But yeah, I should be done. Yeah, another, another vanilla key item spot. That's where the Luka Cave is where you get the Darkness Crystal in the... Um, the original version of the game as well, so. Uh, yes, you can ask me a question. I will determine if it is a very important question. Also, at this point, uh, since we will be winding down this run soon, uh, if anybody wants to donate $10 to pick the next run that we do, uh, no one has done that yet. Um, so there is an opportunity there for you if you'd like to see one in particular next. Otherwise, I'll be moving on to the Forge the Crystal uh, flag set after this. So uh, I am definitely more Maz. I'm not a big... I, I'm. I don't have it. I am indifferent towards paws, so we'll go ahead and go with that. All right, let's go to the Giant of Babel. Running through the giant. <laughs> Glad you approve. And we got our first donation to Extra Life, so thank you very much for that uh, donation, Rostin. Is it Rostin or Rastin? Ah, or eh? See who our first of the two bosses here are in this sequence. Leviathan. Ooh, this is going to be a long Leviathan fight. But I think we got this. Rastin. Okay, you're Rastin. Or did I still get that backwards?
Should put the Ice Claw on for this fight. But actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and Berserk Yang, so. Uh, yeah, you can do the donation with bits, that's fine. I'm keeping track of all of that. Ten dollars would be a thousand bits. And I'm not gonna force anybody to do that, of course, so it's just if you want to. Uh, I do have a, the next race queued up, so uh, we'll be fine either way, but if you wanna override that and pick a different one, it would be ten dollars or a thousand bits. Also, I'm just going to mention as well that I'm going to match the first $25 donated, so uh, it'll actually go double for the time being until we hit that mark. And Leviathan should be almost dead here. There he goes. Okay, so that's one. And then we'll see about the second boss as well. Um, other thing I just want to throw out there uh, as an incentive, because I know we're getting up to the final boss here after this. Uh, if Just remember to get those GGs out and cheer after the boss is dead. And I'm going to go ahead and gift a sub to... Uh, one of you who cheers for the boss kill, so get your GGs ready, because this should uh, this should not take long. Can't remember if he heals you or not, so we're gonna heal up just to be safe. That would be mean. I, why would you do that? Epic music, sirens. Oh, jeez, really? Yeah, this is gonna take uh, not long at all. Oh, they're hitting hard though. Little howler monkeys. In case this doesn't do it, we're going to go for the swag kill. Yeah, they're basically dead, so... I'm going to let Medio Food finish them off. Oh, gosh. I hope so. Don't get cute here. Hey, thanks, Jim. Just waiting on the... I'm going for the swag kill here, so just waiting on that should be incoming momentarily and then you'll be able to get those GG's out when you see the rocks falling here. This is going to do it, so. This will be time. And time. So, there's the giant percent run. 102.22. Mark that one down. Thank you, Demarine. So that is format one of six for the World Series. 
What am I waiting for? I guess technically it's not over yet. The giant we could all not escape from the giant. The giant could explode and kill us all. <laughs> oh, good line. Oh, if you want to do the donation for the next game, you still got a few minutes uh, because I'm going to reset and all that. But otherwise, you can also just um, you'll be able to wait. Uh, I don't know how much time you need, but uh, we'll still have four more after this. So if you can't get it all, if you don't don't have a chance to do it right now, then you can certainly get it for the next one. I'm going to let the credits roll here, update a few things. And then we'll see what we're moving on to after that. I'm not pressuring you. You don't have to donate if you don't want to. Although those sick kids, you know, they wouldn't mind. A, they wouldn't mind a donation. Think of the.